cybersecurity. Keep it safe in cyberspace. Do you connect to the internet using a computer, smartphone, or tablet? If yes, then we'd like you to listen to this short presentation on cybersecurity and how to keep it safe in cyberspace. So what is cybersecurity? The word cyber relates to the internet, and security, as you know, means protection. So in essence, cybersecurity relates to protecting yourself on the internet. Now that we know that cybersecurity means protecting yourself on the internet, let us define the internet. The internet is a global system of interconnected computers and devices. In other words, the internet is one giant network of connected computers and devices communicating with each other. What are some of the uses of the internet? Uses of the internet include 1. Communication. For example, emails, instant messaging, such as Facebook. 2. Research. For example, when you're given homework. 3. Playing online games with friends and other persons all around the world. 4. Shopping. For example, purchasing books on Amazon.com. 5. Online banking, such as transferring funds from one account to another or paying bills. Isn't the internet useful? Although the internet seems to be a nice place, some persons engage in cyber crime that make it unpleasant for others. Cyber crime refers to illegal activity that occurs on the internet. Let's talk about some of these illegal activities. Identity theft is the illegal use of someone's personal information in order to obtain money or credit. Identity theft is not just one of the fastest growing crimes, it is also one of the most difficult to resolve. If your identity is stolen, it could take months or even years to clear up the damage to your bank account. Another form of cybercrime is internet fraud. This is the dishonest act of fooling a person online to gain information for their own personal gain. Some of us fall victims of internet fraud by entering our email address and passwords into fake websites which were set up to capture that data. Another form of cybercrime is cyberbullying, which is the use of technology to harass, threaten, embarrass, or target another person. Online threats, rude texts, and mean tweets, posts, or messages all count as cyberbullying. Cyberbullying can happen at home, school, or anywhere else people go online and causes the victim to get sad and depressed. Now that we have looked at types of cybercrime, which included identity theft, internet fraud, and cyberbullying, let's look at a few ways how we can protect ourselves on the internet from cybercrime. To be able to protect your online identity from theft, make your passwords strong so that they cannot be easily guessed or copied by someone else. Here are some tips of what to include in your password. 1. Capital letters. 2. Numbers. 3. Symbols. 4. It must not include your name. This can be easily guessed by others. Be careful not to click on wrong links. Some bad links on the internet cause viruses and other bad software to be downloaded on your computer that may cause your personal data to be stolen or other unwanted events to happen on your computer. You should also pay close attention to the emails you receive. Some emails that appear to offer you a prize may invite you to visit a website to enter your personal information before giving you a prize. However, this is normally a trick into getting your personal information. One of the ways that you protect yourself on the internet is by not sharing too much of your information on social networks. Many persons from all around the world use these social networks and may use your personal information against you. You should note that the only thing that can stop a bad guy on the internet is a good guy on the internet. So please remember these few tips. One, make your passwords strong. Two, try not to click on the wrong links. Three, beware of email scams. Four, be careful on social networking sites and avoid sharing too much information. Here is a little story on Jake and the bad virus who was not so careful on the internet. 
Jake was using the internet on his family's home computer to research a school project on dolphins that is due next week. He just finished finding the perfect article to add to his research and was about to log off the computer. Before shutting down, Jake quickly decides to check his email account. In his inbox, Jake sees two messages, including one from grandpa at yahoo.com, which he recognizes as his grandfather's email address, and another from john.doe at hotmail.com, with a subject line that reads, You've won $5,000. Jake skips his grandfather's email and quickly opens the John Doe email to collect his prize. After doing so, Jake receives a message instructing him to provide personal information to verify his identity. Jake provides his full name, date of birth, home address, and phone number. He hits submit and instantly starts receiving messages saying his computer has been infected by a virus. Jake panics because he doesn't want to get in trouble. He quickly logs off, shuts off his computer and goes to bed, hoping his parents won't know what happened in the morning. Now that you've heard the story, what were Jake's mistakes? What should Jake have done? Remember these tips on how you should keep it safe in cyberspace. Thank you for listening. This presentation was brought to you by the National Telecommunications Regulatory Commission. Visit our website at www.ntrc.vc. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter.